It's number three on Eurovision Week 5, Joe. Eurovision Week 5. Was that intense? Was that, that was good? intense. That was cool. Number three, five. I will say, uh, Lucky Leo, thanks again for this. Bizarre masterpiece performances yeah. is the name of the list. And we like that stuff. Okay, so this artist is from Russia. The song is called Party for Everyone, which I am... Everybody. Re- everybody. That's different. Yeah. Party for Everybody. Yeah. I love this title. Yeah, it's good. Um, this is 2012. By, this is by Baranovsky Babushki. Um, uh, babushka. This oh. says Babushki. Oh, on the list it says Babushka, and in here it says Babushki. Well, babushka, uh, babushka. this was second place, and if I, if memory serves correct, I believe uh, 2012 was when Lorene won from Sweden oh. for a song. So just trying to remember all of my uh, Eurovision trivia in case I ever find myself in a in a battle uh, okay. of trivia wits. Okay, so, Joe. That was euphoria. <laughs> Okay. Joe, <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. speechless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm familiar with the word babushka. Maybe yeah. babushki is like many babushkas. It's plural. I don't now, know, Mike. Because these are babushkas, right? I don't know. You're going to have to ask the audience. Audience. Tell us. What, is babushki plural for babushka? Because and then also here's a lot what, of babushkas. And also, I, what, is, what is babushka? I think it's like an older Russian woman. Maybe like a grandmother or something. Yeah, I think like, you're right. Like, I've heard that term for yeah. older Russian women, babushka. I have heard that term. And it's it a, also makes me think of the, uh, the dolls, too, kind of. Those are... Something else. Something else. I think we have some that are... Like, I think my our mom has some that are are old women, and then they're... Some oh, like, I see. So maybe yeah, that's yeah. why. So that's why they're... Though that specific one is a babushka doll. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. The thing that was funny is, okay, so when this started, I was a little, I was a little nervous because it just kind of seemed like sweet old women just like got that they sent them and everyone was like, (laughs) yeah, like you do you ladies. And they're singing up there something kind of like nice and like cute, but it's kind of weird because they're just not doing the best. Well, it feels like these women live in a town of 18 people. Yeah. (laughs) like. Uh, where it snows nine months out of the year. But then the song picks up steam, and I'm like, oh, they get it. Yeah, yeah, they know yeah. what they're doing there. Yeah, I yeah. love the oven, though. Yeah, what are they cooking in there? I'd really like to know. These women look cozy. I I and I love what they're wearing on their necks. What, this metal coins or something? Yeah. And then anyone, yeah, anyone, up. I guess, if there's any Russian viewers, I'd really love to know what... Uh, what these, this style if these are, is. Yeah, is and also, if these are Russian grandmothers, what, what's you, how is it? How is a Russian grandmother? Yeah, I'd like to know. What, what's what's the stereotype of a Russian grandmother? I don't know. I know what the stereotype is of our grandmothers. Um, and they're pretty common, you know, mothballs, whatever. Um, but these these women look um, joyous. They do. And kind. Yeah. So I want to know. 
I don't know what it, I want to know what it's like to have a there Russian grandmother. Go. Look at all these. Oh, they're different sizes. Or just any grandmother. Tell us what your grandmas are like. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to know. Joe would love to know. For some I'd reason. love to know what everyone's grandmas are <laughs> Look, like. She's you can give us the grandpas too. It's fine. This is authentic. She's missing a tooth here. That's great. Yeah. Is that a telltale sign of someone's authentic? Yeah, I think so. I like that I keep leaning in like I can see over the platter to see what's on there. <laughs> like, oh, what's on there? What's going on here? Okay. Oh, I'm just getting a little Ice extra. Trend. Oh, wow. Oh, this is just a little a, bit of... You got another 15 seconds about Iceland. All right. This is too much. Uh, Joe, that was adorable. It's it was. Very, very endearing, especially them posing with the whatever they cooked or baked. Yeah. You know what I would have loved if I was planning this performance? I would have had uh, another, like five dozen of those women walk out in the audience and hand out the, and hand yeah, out yeah. treats. I, I thought that's kind of where I was headed. <laughs> that would have been awesome. You just see them go down into the audience and start yeah. handing out the, handing out the cookies or whatever they were. Um, I'm just so curious whose idea this was. Like I can wrap my head around a couple of old women in a small town getting together and dancing and singing for an evening. But whose idea was it to get them like, it's not like they just showed up and they're like, okay, we'll do our song. It's like, you have to go there and rehearse and like probably try out. You have to go through some kind of a system. I mean, you don't just fall into Eurovision. No, That's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you just fell into Eurovision, Mike and I would have been in it 10 times by now. At least we could, we could fake our way into Eurovision. We're That's Australian, right. mate. <laughs> we could technically file as an American. I think where Americans are allowed to go. They just don't. Or we can find other countries to go into, like Flowrida did. Flowrida was in Eurovision? Yeah, for San Marino. People have been really trying to get us to watch it. All right, let's watch it. That's weird. Yeah. Um, Although, it's probably not that weird. It's just Flowrida. Like, for us, it's like, oh, yeah, it's Flowrida. Yeah, but why the hell is he in Eurovision? I don't know. Why'd San Marino send an American pop star? (laughs) Because they could. All right. This is just wonderful. I love yeah. their little outfits and their little slippers. <laughs> I know. I bet their feet like, are so warm. Well, I guess, you know, obviously Eurovision is an expression of the culture. It doesn't have to be, but it can. It's it's oftentimes is an expression yeah. of the culture of your country. So I'm picturing these older women, you know, like 500 years ago, they were probably wearing this kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. And like they, not much is. This yeah. is probably traditional babushka wear, I would assume. I I, I would assume. But At you least know, over the past couple You know weeks. what I love is uh they look so happy to be there. Well yeah, it's it's probably wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if they, you know, enjoy singing and dancing. They're on the big stage, Joe. They probably watch Eurovision their entire lives. And here they are. And they are starring in it. That's Second right. place. They got second place. Second place. That's what this Hell person's thing yeah, says. That's wonderful. I had other thoughts, but I really I forgot them because it's all just oh yeah, and then this whole thing. She's looking right at us. I know. 
She gets the like, hey, grandma. She gets the cookies. They look like cookies. Some sort of dessert, hopefully. Wow. Everybody dance. Party for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. Well, good job. Dang, this is 13, 14 years ago now. 12. Some of these women may have 12 passed. 12 years ago. 12 years ago now. It's 2026, huh? Yeah, that's right. Wow, crazy. Straight there. Wow. Uh, all right, that was great fun. Lots of questions. Hopefully you guys can answer them in the comments. Lots of questions. would love an answer. Please. All right, on to the next one. Yup.